What's up guys? Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. You saw first off, we got a, uh, we finished our little mission there for the mule deer, for the, uh, the low fitness level deer. I just continued on right from where we left off in the last episode. I was really enjoying the rain and the weather. It's really awesome. I came up to Ruiz's cabin, got some rest, hung out till the next morning. And uh, we're going to have a look in this area again today. I'm going to do a little bit of exploration to unlock some new area. And then... First off, I think I'm going to see what that is down there. I bet you it's elk, most likely. And I may see about some Ross's goose, also. I've been seeing them flying around down here. I'd like to check them out. See if we can... Uh, see if we can maybe find a five-star goose. Or you know start working on that all right guys let's see what do we have down there i'm sure they're too far to even register but we can have a look oh that's moose actually ah cool all right so that's our first agenda i forgot i honestly forgot that there were moose on this map i wasn't even thinking about it so i'm gonna work my way down there and see what's you know see what they are and uh go from there when we get a little management in for the moose that'd be great but i don't uh oh no 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 not going down that i guess i can wrap around this way what's our wind look like wind is favorable good deal okay i think we're close enough let's see what we've got so we have young moose so two young males Okay. Well, we don't want to mess with them then. Two young males. We'll let them grow up and see what happens. Is there a moose call? I don't recall. Eh, pun intended. But anyways. Yeah, I can't remember if there actually is a moose call or not. That would be handy. Same as the other ones, you know. We could call in the low fitness males. That would help a lot. But I don't think I have one on me right now. Uh, what do I have? Let me look down here again to make sure it's just these four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. It's just those four. Okay. Alright. I see some birds flying. I think those are the geese I'm actually looking for. Pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just those four. Unless there's one hiding in these bushes right here. I hear you. You're probably alerted. No, you're calm. Yeah. So what are these females here? That's a mature. And that's an adult. I guess I could leave them be. I don't want to disturb them too much because it's nice that they're right here in this area. Hopefully they'll come back. I know where they're at and we'll give those young guys a chance to grow up and see what they turn into. Did I see something over here too? Nope, just some bushes. Okay. So, the plan. Um, As far as exploration goes, I was just kind of looking at this here. I'll probably... It's going to take me a while, but I'll probably just walk my way around. Maybe up this, uh, let's see. Maybe up this trail here. Walk around and see what this is. I'm sure it's probably a, a deer stand. But I'll see anyway. Lessers. Rosses. Okay. So, I guess, first off... I'll do some exploration, and then we'll see about some Ross's goose. So during my exploring, I came across some more, a, uh, an animal trail. Just tracking some moose. And, uh, both of the, the places, I found two places where they are feeding, and both of them were eating rarely. But I've got moose straight in front of me there. And there's moose right down the hill over here. So this is a pretty good little hot spot for the moose, obviously. Um, 
Yeah, there's one right there. A couple of them you can see. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what they are yet. I haven't got close enough to see, and this tree line here is blocking us pretty good. So I'll try and work my angle around to where I can see better. See what we have to work with. See if there's anything that we need to manage or anything like that. All right, looks like we have some line of sight here. Have a young guy, a little young bull there. Uh, did I see another one walking up that way? I think there is one. Yeah, there's one right there. What do we have here? Young female. Ooh, look at this guy. He must be older. Ah. Uh, let me see if I can find another angle here. They're working with me pretty good so far. They're not running off or getting spooked or anything. The wind's in our favor. Okay, here. What do we have? Are you going to tell me? Mm, come on. You can do it. One star adult. Okay. Um, that's a hard call. If he's a one-star adult, he could be, what, a two-star or potentially a three-star. So his genetics might not be that bad. Hmm. It's really hard to tell. What should we do? I guess I'll leave him be, just to be safe. There's not another one. Seems like the moose travel in pairs of, I guess it's two females and one male. Yeah, there's the other female right there. I would hate to mess up a good thing here. But I'm very tempted anyway. Because if it's adult, I would like to see it be at least a two star. So it's got me wondering if this guy is actually healthy or not. He's going to go down below this hill before I can get a shot on him anyways. Alright. I'm going to let those go. Something's telling me to just let them go. And I do know that there are some more right down the hill over here that I was looking at a minute ago. So let's see if we can check those out. Holy crap, guys. I wasn't even paying attention and just walked right up on these guys. Two-star adult male. One-star adult. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy right here. That threw me off big time. I, I'm surprised they didn't run. Okay, where am I supposed to shoot these guys? Right here? Apparently so. We got him. Check him out. Those suckers are fast. I know that. <laughs> That's pretty good. We were really close. And the wind was blowing right towards them, so that's what threw me off so bad. I knew that they were downhill. It, downhill, or down here, down here, hill. Jesus Christ. My English is throwing me off. I've been speaking it for a really long time now, and I still can't pick it up. I don't know why. Something's wrong with me. Anyways, I was coming downhill... And I was just easing along because I knew they were here, obviously. But uh, it surprised me how close I got to them without them noticing. I could tell that this one here, you could see him when he was he was kind of smelling. He knew that we were here. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? That's Whitetail. Ho, ho. Okay. They're down there drinking. This is a good spot. Where are we at? Okay, this is where we're at on the map right here. That question mark is the deer stand. There's a deer stand somewhere right down here. I just kind of caught a glimpse of it a second ago. Alright, so let's do this. Let's grab this guy. Oh, and also, thank you to the viewer who mentioned that I could change the color of that. I had no idea. I didn't know that they did the colorblind mode stuff or whatever. And so I changed the blood color to magenta, which is kind of weird but it makes it easier to see <laughs> alright so let's have a look at this guy real quick uh dang 
Well, at least we left the two-star adult alive because he was undoubtedly better all the way around. All right, so let's see if we can get down here fast enough to see what these guys are. I see a couple of older females or the older doe. You can tell by that color, that dark gray color. And that looks like an older buck also. Let's get down there and see what they are. Wind's blowing straight that way. I'll go ahead and crouch down. Get our binoculars out and see what we've got. Uh, 350 yards. Closer. 327. I think it's 300 yards when it picks up. Let's see. It's 314. I've never verified it, but I'm about to. Or it might be even closer than that. So there's 300 and we're still not getting anything. Okay, maybe 250. This is a nice little spot out here. It's nice and open. Still nothing and that's at 280. Yeah, there's that deer stand right there. They still haven't freaked out yet. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we have a two-star adult. One-star young. Ooh, what is this guy? Three-star mature. Beautiful deer. And another young one-star. And a couple young females. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? Look at this guy. It's a good looking deer. I think I should probably... What should I do? What happens if I take one of these mature does? That's what I'm curious about. Will it make room for more animals? Hmm... This is a dilemma right here, because I don't know what to do. This two-star adult right here has the potential to become a four-star, I would imagine. Four or five-star. And these young ones here are in the same boat. So I don't want to really touch them, but I want to make more room. What do I do in this situation, guys? This is one of those deals that I'm not 100% sure about. Because I know that you're supposed to manage the amount of animals. Um, I guess male to female ratio. But what have y'all seen to be, I guess, the best ratio? Like, what works the best? Because I'm kind of torn here. We have, what's it, four... We have four bucks. And four doe. Is that the best ratio? 50-50? I'm not sure. So since these guys are mature, we know that their life cycle will end at some point soon, right? And once their life cycle ends, the young will become adults. The adults will become mature. So I'm thinking... That I'm going to leave these guys alone. Even though I'm really tempted to harvest it. Y'all let me know. What should I have done right there? What would have been the best option? Leave them alone? Or take one of the, the older animals. And go ahead and get rid of them. Like the mature, the mature uh, three star. Since he's mature it doesn't matter. Right? He's going to... He's not going to get any better. So would it hurt to take him? Oh, look. What are these guys? Just wild ducks. What do we have with those? We've already got our five-star wild ducks, so I'm not worried about them. It's still kind of neat to see what they've got down here. A little three-star. They got good potential. Yeah, I'm so torn, guys. I'd really like to take that... This three-star mature... He's not going to get any bigger. 
But then again, I don't want to scare them out of this area. Because we know where they are. And it'd be really nice to come back to them and see. Yeah, like I said, let me know. What am I hearing? I hear moose or something somewhere. I wonder if it's those same moose that I saw a minute ago. No telling. So we found this hunting stand here. Oh, those guys. I heard the little limb crack. Thought it was something else. Let's see. So we have this hunting stand here. And then we have this other little point of interest right there. I'm going to go check out this point of interest. See what's there. And then we're going to head over and see about some Ross's goose. So I came over, I picked up the white tail. Um, he was 73% is what his rating was. I would got distracted by the, the Ross's geese or whatever and I forgot to do the little... I forgot to uh, record that little deal where we looked at the deer. It was pretty nice though. And I was just saying that... I'm thinking that... the Those couple of one stars that are in that group... I'm betting that they're going to end up being at least four stars. That's that's my guess anyway. But we will definitely find out. We'll have to make note. Let's see, where are we at right here? So we have Ruse's cabin. And we're coming straight down south to this little area of water. They drink here often and everything, so that's pretty good. Okay, I see where the those Ross's geese are just headed over to this area. So they're traveling from here to over there. That's good to know also. Uh, we have some wild duck over here. And I still need to figure out what that is. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out what this is and I'll make my way over here and we'll see if we can take some Ross's. Alright, cool. That little uh, question mark that we looked at is a campsite. It's a really good location, too. That can bring us right to uh, where we want to go. Oh, and there's a little mission to go with it, too. What does this say? Real hunters don't shoot sitting ducks. Hunters should not have an unfair advantage, and the game should have a reasonable chance to escape. These are one of the few rules we choose to obey when, decided, when we decided to hunt ethically. Thus, the saying, don't shoot sitting ducks, was born. We have enough advantages as it is. Why make it easier? Why make it even easier for ourselves? Prove to me and yourself that you are fair. Wallace Elliot Willow. Five Airborne Lesser Scout. Wish we would have had that before because we've already done that. I'm pretty sure anyways. Uh, okay. So. We have this. Let's look at our map. Yeah, this is a super good location. So we can pop in right here every once in a while and come and check on that uh, herd of whitetail. That's sweet. Okay. So yeah, let's go and uh, see about these Rosses. I think I need to go get my call, though. I need to get a duck call and I need to get a goose call. Yeah, let's go ahead and go do that real quick. Yeah, so... Uh, I just got back and I was looking in my locker and I had a moose call on me. I'm I'm dumb. But whatever. So we're going to swap over to a goose call. And we'll swap our elk call over to a duck caller. Okay. So that's all I wanted to do right there. I will probably just going to hop in the jeep. And then drive up to where we can find some of those, I guess the, not the lessers, the Rosses. Alright, here we go. Well, I got down here to where I'm going to be looking for these uh, geese and stuff. But there's some lessers right there. Let's see if I can call them. 
They're landing right over there. There's some moose right here, too. They're just right there. Check it out. Completely oblivious. I'm not worried about the moose right now, though. That one right there, I looked at it a second ago. It's a young one. And I think there's like a, a two-star with them. He's calm still? No, there's no way he's calm. They're about to run. Go ahead and run. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. What are these? I mean, might as well look. Uh, that is a mature female. That one looks like a young... Yeah, that's a young... Uh, young one star also. So there's two... Two young ones. Well, that's good. I'll go ahead and skedaddle. Shoo. Shoo. There you go. They're probably going to scare the ducks, though. Alright, so. These lesser Scott, they have to be flying. Yeah, five of them, right? So they have to be flying when we do this. Which is no big deal. But I would like to see what they are, at least. May not get a chance to. Let's see. Let's see if we can get around on a little angle here real quick. Maybe we'll be able to pinpoint to see what we've got. Oh, no. I messed that up. What are these guys? Uh, that's wild duck. Okay. Uh, there's the lessers. So there's some one star adult in there. It's so difficult with those, right? Because they change position in the air when they're flying, so it makes it really hard to figure out what's what. Us getting that five star duck was just flat out luck I'm pretty sure I mean is this the same group no this is a different group check these guys out one star adult that was a two star mature so cool all right are this the uh, these are our lessers yeah let's see if we can call them again see what happens I don't know how well it's going to work. You see, it's hard to judge, judge the distance with them. So that makes it difficult too. How close do we have to be for it to actually work? Hey, Moosey. Don't mind me. You're safe for now. Maybe. Yeah. yeah it's probably good that you ran away. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is... I'll probably worry about just doing this mission first. I'd really like to do proper management also. But it's so hard to do with these birds. So hard. Maybe I can... Let me, let me crouch down and see if I can sneak up. Another thing is when I do scare them up... It's going to be very difficult to see which one which one is the one that we want to shoot. Right? Um, young male. So that's what we don't want to shoot. There's a lot of females though. One star adult. I wouldn't mind taking the one star adult. So one of the one star adults. See if we can pull this off. I don't know if we'll be able to or not, but we'll sure try. Sure try. Get close enough to tell. Oh, there they go. You know what? I don't think it's going to work. But that's too late, I think. Yeah, they're too far. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's going to be too hard to try and manage them and do this mission at the same time. Because, honestly, the best way to manage them is, you know, you're not supposed to shoot them on the ground, but that's going to be the easiest way to manage them. Trying to manage them while they're flying, that's going to be extremely difficult. Extremely, extremely difficult. Take a lot of time. Okay. Let's see. See if I can work around and get these guys worked up again. It looks like they're coming right overhead. Does this call work for them? Not exactly sure. Attracts landing ducks. Come up a little further. Here they come. Here they come, here they come. Oh, man. All right, we got one. That was a female. Oh. Oh, that was just horrible shooting right there. Way off. We'll see if the female counts. We'll give that a shot. If I can find her. Here she is. Okay. Uh. Okay. We got it. Let's sell. And it does count. Good deal. That does count. Okay. So we got one of those knocked out. Like I said, I would like to... I would like to get a Rosses. I'm going to try for a few more minutes. See if we can find one. If not, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I know I had made the plan to get a Rosses and try to do some management. But... We may not run into them. Oh, we have these lessers coming in again. What about here over there? I heard a crack. Most likely the, uh... Those little... That group of moose. Okay. Got a little wild ducks that are over here. So we're not worried about them. Uh, let's see. You know, I think I think we're gonna give these guys right here one more go. They're landing right there, super close. So we'll go ahead. I'm gonna take another one of these guys. I say I'm gonna take one of these guys. I'm gonna try to take one of these guys. And then, uh, we'll call it. All right, here we go. I have to, like, prepare myself for this. Because it's always a surprise when they jump up. Ah, come on. So bad. Such a bad shot. Yeah, that was a uh, moose running up there. Oh, I heard some more over here. Something's running that way. More moose, probably. I'm assuming. I need to get good. There's ducks. Geese all over the place. I say just ducks. Wild ducks are like, huh, we ain't worried about you. I'm just gonna hang out. You can't hit anything anyways. Okay. Finally found some lessers again. Uh There's 
There's a moose back there too. Keep hearing it cracking the limbs and stuff. It's distracting me. All right, so nice and easy. Easy does it. Easy does it. Where are these guys? Okay, I see one there. I'm going to ease up to these guys as gently as possible. Because I want to go ahead and get a couple of them. If I could actually hit them. Uh, tree in the way. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do it. Can I make it across this part crouched? Yeah. Seems so. Oh, oh, it made me get up. Crouch back down. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's one right in front of us. Right there. How close can we get before we scare it up? Oh, there's another one right there. I can barely see it moving. There's another one there. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. There they go. Good lord, I suck. I suck! I suck! Oh my gosh. <sighs> hey, look, Rosses. Gooses? What are those? Wild ducks. Rosses keys. Rosses keys. Uh, here we go. No, no, I'm so bad. I'm telling you, if there was a little bit of spread to this gun, it would be great, but there's none. So bad, so bad. Okay, I got another one. Man, my lead is just way off. Holy crap. Oof. What is this? This is a two star. Y'all don't dare make fun of my horrible shooting. I can't help it. Pick up this last duck. What did we get this time? As another female? Yeah. Okay. So we have three of five. Oh, look. There's the moose up there. There are so many moose in this area right here. It's crazy. Like, there's three or four different herds of moose right here. And I just, I just noticed it. I picked up a couple spots where they had been, I guess, feeding and everything along through this, uh, through these like little riverlands areas or whatever. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna call it. I've been chasing these ducks around for 30 minutes, probably. They're driving me, driving me nuts. I appreciate y'all for joining me today. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. Like, subscribe. Hope y'all have a great day, and goodbye.